Tropical Storm Nicole battered Central Florida Thursday, November 10, where NASA's Artemis 1 moon rocket waits on the launch pad on the state's space coast. The storm made landfall just south of Cape Canaveral, home to NASA's Kennedy Space Center, in the early morning hours on Thursday while it was still rated as a hurricane, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Weather Service. Moon radar imagery showed the storm producing sustained winds of 75 miles per hour or 120 kilometers per hour when it reached the Florida coast around 3 a.m. 0800 GMT. Satellite imagery shows the storm moving to the west northwest at 14 miles per hour. 22 km per hour, where it will move across central Florida throughout Thursday, November 10, morning and into the Gulf of Mexico. Despite the storm weakening as it made landfall, there is still a chance that high winds and flooding could damage or otherwise further delay the launch of NASA's Artemis 1 moon rocket as it braces against the storm on launch pad 39B at KSC. Tropical Storm Nicole is now centered over central Florida creating strong winds, dangerous storm surge in waves, and heavy rains. According to the National Hurricane Center in Miami, the storm remains a life-threatening situation, the center wrote. The SLS vehicle is designed to be able to withstand winds of up to 85 miles per hour or 137 kilometers per hour. The sustained winds of the tropical storm Nicole were just under that rating when the storm made landfall, but there have been gusts reported that have exceeded that rating. According to Spaceflight Now, the Orlando Sentinel reported that some sensors at launch pad 39B recorded a maximum gust of 100 MP at 4.15 a.m. EST, 9.15 GMT, while winds averaged 85 miles per hour. The storm may lead to delays, damage or other time constraints for Artemis 1, but if all goes well, the planned launch date of November 12th will not be scrapped.